Thomas Mann's Tristan is a novella that intricately weaves together themes of love, art, and illness, set against the backdrop of a sanatorium. This setting becomes a microcosm of society, where the interplay between the characters and their personal crises reflect larger existential concerns. The narrative focuses primarily on three characters, Gabrielle Cloderjohn, her husband Anton Cloderjohn, and the writer Detlef Spinell. Gabrielle Cloderjohn, a delicate and artistic woman, finds herself in the sanatorium due to a respiratory illness. Her fragility and artistic sensibilities make her a stark contrast to her robust, business-minded husband, Anton. Anton's practical approach to life and health is juxtaposed with Gabrielle's ethereal nature, setting the stage for the central conflict in the novella. Detlev Spinell, a dilettante writer residing at the sanatorium, becomes enamored with Gabrielle, seeing in her the embodiment of artistic purity in suffering. Spinell's fascination with Gabrielle can be seen as both genuine admiration and a selfish projection of his own romantic ideals. The relationship between Spinell and Gabrielle develops through their shared appreciation of art and beauty, particularly music. Mann uses music, specifically Wagner's Tristan Uendi Assault, as a recurring motif to underscore the intensity and doomed nature of their bond. Spinell encourages Gabrielle to play the piano, seeing her music as a form of pure artistic expression, untainted by the mundane concerns that dominate her husband's world. This act of playing music becomes a form of resistance against the pragmatic and philistine values represented by Anton Cloderjohn. Mann's portrayal of Spinell is complex. On one hand, he is depicted as a sensitive and cultured individual, appreciating the finer aspects of life that others overlook. On the other hand, there is a sense of futility and impotence in his character, he is a failed artist, living off the margins of society, and his infatuation with Gabrielle can be seen as an escapist fantasy rather than a genuine connection. Spinell's idealization of Gabrielle ultimately reveals his own detachment from reality, and his efforts to rescue her from her husband's world are futile and somewhat delusional. The climax of the novella occurs when Spinell writes a letter to Anton Cloderjohn, criticizing him for his lack of appreciation for Gabrielle's artistic soul and accusing him of being responsible for her decline. This letter serves as a pivotal moment, exposing the deep-seated conflict between the values of art and commerce, sensitivity, and practicality. Anton's response is pragmatic and dismissive, underscoring the futility of Spinell's romantic idealism. The confrontation between the two men highlights the irreconcilable differences in their worldviews and serves as a commentary on the broader societal tensions between art and industry. Gabrielle's eventual fate, her death following a relapse, serves as a tragic conclusion to the story. Her demise can be interpreted as a consequence of the irreconcilable pressures exerted by both her husband's practical world and Spinell's suffocating idealism. Mann uses Gabrielle's character to explore the destructive potential of both neglect and obsessive adoration. Her death underscores the novella's melancholic meditation on the incompatibility of artistic sensitivity with the harsh realities of the modern world. Tristan is thus a richly layered work that examines the interplay between love, art, and illness within the constrained environment of a sanatorium. Through the interactions of its three main characters, man explores broader existential themes and critiques the societal values of his time. The novella remains a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of the human condition, illustrating the tragic consequences of the clash between different ways of experiencing and valuing life.